It's actually not a bad idea to bring it. <clears throat> Anyways, what's up, y'all? Crowman17, this is the channel. Crowman17, aka me, Crowman. Otherwise known as Crowman, or Lieutenant Arnold Tut of the SS Army. A very real supervillain and very real fictional character. I got my brother back with me again. And, uh, so a few things I wanted to point out tonight. Just really quick, uh, let's see. I, I wanted to wait till I had some more Patreons before I had uh, said something, but uh, it doesn't look like that's going anywhere. Um, but I do uh, point out the one loyal Patreon that I have had, uh, since the beginning of me starting my Patreon account. It is still a golden, a golden, um, a, a golden Patreon. Regardless of how many I have, Justin, hope I say this right, anti theist. Uh, is my first, he is my first Patreon, and he's been with me uh, since the beginning of me opening my Patreon account, and nobody else has joined since then, so uh, that's, that's, that's whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and give a shout out to him, and, and, and everybody else too, despite you being a Patreon or not, everybody else who's also really been there for me and uh, been uh, really made my channel what it is today so uh, without further ado a, a good I just oh, whatever I, I okay I didn't actually mean to get where I am right now I end up drinking a whole bunch of beer at the at the pizza parlor and while I was waiting for uh, my pizza <laughs> I'm sorry uh, but um, I, I got done. I got done with the night. I got the pizza over. I was late. Probably that pizza was sitting there for maybe a half an hour, and then I finally got the pizza over to my neighbors, Mac and Julie. <laughs> and I sat through a whole, a whole uh, uh, pitcher of beer. Yeah. Good job, Shiva. <laughs> <laughs> they even called me, and then I realized, like, wow, a lot of time has passed, so... I, <laughs> on an empty stomach, a pitcher of beer sure hits you he heavy, hits you fast. But I already made a commitment to doing this. Uh, I, like, when I went live on my Patreon account, and I made a commitment to, do to doing this, so I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. <clears throat> so, um... Thank you, Justin. Thank you for being there for me. I, honestly, I never thought that everything that I've done would would uh, include you so much. And even when I first said to you in that email, like, like, wow, thank you for supporting me. I even wondered with myself, like, I wonder if I even should have said that. And I want, I really wonder is how much, how far is he even willing to go to to put his neck out there for this guy? He doesn't even know. And. And things have really, things have gone so far. And you really have helped me out a lot. Honestly, my channel would not be what it is today without my number one Patreon. And I would feel maybe even my number one fan. This guy has been there since March 4th. The very next day after I did all of that and I, and I, and I marched with all these people and everything. He hit me up, and I didn't know I didn't know this guy. He didn't know me. He just hit me up on on Facebook or not on Facebook on the YouTube. Let me comment, and I got back to him. And we've been communicating ever since. And and uh, he's used some of my footage. Um. And and I didn't actually. I wasn't sure. Like I said, I was really wasn't sure where things would go. And this guy really is amazing. So I'm gonna leave links to uh, him and everybody else. In the description below so please check him out um, he does play a big part in why you might know me today so it's it's really important um, why did I why do what I'm wondering why am I doing this video with you it just dawned on me I don't know what you're doing with me but I know why you're doing it okay you just chose to have me in Special guest, he's here. <laughs> yeah. So I also want to give a really big shout out to other YouTube channels, like uh, not like I'll just say them, um, Scrolla Sam TV and 
uh, cold gravy one one two two through three. You guys have also played a big part. You're you're not patrons of mine, but at the same time, you also post nothing, virtually nothing that is uh, po political. Uh, School of Sam TV is rap and hip hop videos, pretty much, and some hip uh, some uh, comedy. And then uh, one one two three uh, or cold gravy does uh, they do um, uh, skater videos. So uh, you know. I, they they are very I, I'm I'm into that so I, I loved it. I used to love to skate back in the day, you know, on skateboards. And I used to really be into rap too. I was a big Eminem fan before I was a juggalo. Just just so you know, that's true. And um I don't know how these two channels end up getting into me. Actually, me and Sam have been famous before. I, I, I think I'm not famous. We've been friends before he was famous on YouTube. But um, a big shout out to them. They really have been a big part of th th those three guys mostly. And I know I know there are some other people that may, may, might slip my mind right now that I can't think of off the top of my head. But those three guys right there. Uh, Justin Antitheist. I hope I'm saying that right. Maybe I should just say just in time for dinner. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Cold Gravy and Squirrel Sam TV. You guys are the biggest pieces of uh, why I even have a channel. And definitely have played a part in uh, what it has evolved into and grown into. So... Uh, I, I'm, I'm glad I got this opportunity to thank all of you guys. Anyways, what are we doing right now? I got my bro here. He's playing. What are you playing, Carl? Anno 2070. Anno 2070. It Tell him about that really quick. I can use a bathroom. It is a fun game where you build a corporation and basically just run it into the ground or whatever you want to do with it. You end up mining on the moon, which is pretty cool. It's also part RTS, which is really cool. Um, it's the game's on Steam. It's like twenty nine ninety nine, and God, I suck at this. And I want to do. I want to do a YouTube video, a YouTube channel. If I end up doing one, I'm probably just going to do Let's Plays, or small reviews, or just play games. I don't know. Whichever you guys want to see. Um, uh, right, right. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough about Rednecks, and uh, yeah. I hope you're interested. We're not sponsoring them or anything. But it looks pretty fun. I'm definitely into it. What's the name of your company? Did you tell them? Oh, uh, it is Trump Corporation. And we are on the moon. And we are on the moon. A little late, Trump, but yeah. We're there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I wanted to go over this. I mentioned to you guys earlier when I was at the rodeo that I wanted to say something about um, Eminem. So, yeah, I was looking at my CDs and everything, and I thought about an M&M. Uh, so I just wanted to go over my collection that um, I found in the storage. I thought I lost a couple years ago, but now I still have my, my CD collection. I really hope you're not getting break all those. <laughs> that would make a great YouTube video, wouldn't it? That would, that would... <laughs> that would be good and bad. Yeah. It's like... Destroying all the Michael Jackson CDs for the kind of person he was. Yeah, you don't base that on that. His music's good. He might be a terrible person. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could break anything. <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm just not a break a thing. This kind of guy, unless it needs to be broken. But uh, my first page here. This is my first C My first CD ever. Gorillas. 
my favorite album. Still have it. Gorillas. Give me a thumbs up if you like the gorillas. Or in general. Or in general. <laughs> Leave in the tell me in the comments if the video sucks that you like the gorillas, and then go ahead and click the thumbs down. Um, here's a couple of Metallica CDs. One is a real one. Let's see, let's see, uh, Enter Sandman. Okay, so the, yeah, this is that one album that they say that anyone who doesn't like this album is high. And then there's a burnt album of Metallica. I admit it. I don't know where I got it. I didn't. I don't burn CDs. I haven't burned any CDs. But um, I got this one. I think I burned a couple ICP CDs actually. That's true. And then here's a what was this one, Carl? Gorillas. Oh, you still have that. That's my. Um... You gave this to me. That's right. I don't know if I gave that was I got that for my birthday. I don't think I let you borrow it. That's my um, yeah, Plastic Island. Gorillas Plastic Island. Plastic Island. Oh, that was one of their last CDs. Yeah. They just released more, another one, by the way. Yeah, check it out. Uh, so I guess the Gorillas released a new album, according to him. Do you know what it's called? I forgot, but it just came out. That's why I don't remember. Okay. It's mm -hmm. very recent, like within the last like month. Well, the Gorillas came out with a new CD. Check it out. We don't know what it's called, but hey, look it up. Gorilla's new CD, <laughs> new album. And so yeah, I was also into Limp Biscuit and Corn. I got uh, here's four albums of Corn. Here's uh, four albums of Limp Biscuit, old new songs, uh, Hot Dog, Chocolate Starfish, Hot Dog. Yeah, I was totally into Limp Biscuit. Who wasn't into Limp Biscuit? A lot of people, I'm sure. But fuck, man, I was into Limp Biscuit. I even got three dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, and their last one, which was totally softened down. I can understand the other vocal cards were probably going, you know. Uh, results may vary. Limp Biscuit. Results may vary. That was a very ironic album. Yes, the results may vary. It was toned down quite a bit. I think they had like one streaming song and then two songs where they screamed for a couple of verses. That was it. You know, and there's some Creed and some Disturbed, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Dark Lotus, motherfuckers. Love Dark Lotus, yeah. I could never hold on to the Dark Lotus first album. I just kept losing it every time I bought a new one, so I would steal it or something. But I still have Black Rain, which is an, I thought it was an okay album. I wouldn't say it was as good as the first one, but it was great. Um, I mean, some of the, a lot of the songs on there were great. And but Obake Brotherhood, that was the third one. I should what? You should buy another one. I mean, I know you're the not first one. That one was great. Nothing yeah. will beat the first Dark Lotus, but uh, yeah, the next one I I don't I don't know. We'll see. But oh, Big Brotherhood, I don't know why. I kind of know why, but I don't know why. When they came out with this album, I was there in San Francisco when they came to play this this uh, album, and they did not play... They did not play, what, what was it, Heinous. I don't know why they didn't do Heinous. I do, but then I don't. I just, I know that they were worried that people would go crazy, but the song was so badass. But because the song was so badass, I would understand if people went crazy when the song played. So it was unexpected, but I wasn't too surprised. It really was that good of a song. And and, and I could see Juggalos willing to go a little nuts over that song. It was a good song. Tell me Heinous was not a good song. I Maybe I'm so overhyping it, like but I'm making it. It, was, it had to have been, even for, for, for Juggalos, Heinous was the number one song, the number one song on that album. And a lot of the songs on there were great, but Heinous killed them. Killed them. Four albums from Tech 9 Angelica, Absolute Power. Oh, Tech 9 Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, man. Still have them all. Dude, I've been fucking listening to those. I love Tech 9 Tech 9 is sick, I Yeah. And Ishan. Ishan was what originally got me into ICP. I still have, uh, um, I got Acid Rain. Wow, I still got Acid Rain. And I got all my Esham albums, actually. I don't know why Esham didn't do more albums from A1 Yola. I really thought that that was a good album. I feel like when he made this album, though, like, for some reason, he was kind of letting his music go, but at the same time, he didn't know what he was producing. And he produced something really awesome, because I was at Esham concerts, and he doesn't ever seem to sing any of the songs from this album, but it was a really good album. It was a really good album. I would honestly put it, put it up there as one of Esham's number one albums. 
it was one of his best, absolutely. Yes. Okay, yeah, you know, okay, so at a point at a point in my time, uh, at a point in my life, I started um, when when the when the FBI put Juggalos on the uh, FBI's most wanted li or like a gang. They listed them as a gang. I didn't want anything to do with ICP anymore because I I reached a decision in my life where I didn't want to have anything to I didn't want to do with anything that was gang related, and I really put my foot down to that, and I meant it. I meant it. And and I felt like ICP was the only thing I had going for me, and then and then when they declared it a gang, and I, I decided that I really wanted to make a change for my life, and I wanted to be something, a, a worthy human worth living, and I didn't want to deal, I have any dealings with anything that was illegal or gang related or anything like that, because I, I I have a history. I I decided that like I I'm, I have to I have to I'm no no more ICP I'm done with it if you, if this is the way juggalos are behaving and this is what they're doing, I mean I was hearing reports of kidnappings, drug sales, it, terrible things. I got I gotta say I understand some people are saying oh it was just a few bad eggs. It had to have been a little bit more than a few bad eggs for it to get pushed this far. You got put on the ICP's, <laughs> you got put on the FBI's list of a gang. And they took it seriously. People were losing their kids. People were losing their jobs because of this. This wasn't something that was funny. This wasn't something that was honorable in any way. And I had to, I just had to put, I, to me, I, I was done. But deep down, I was not really, I couldn't just let it go. It was still always there in the back of my mind, obviously, because here I still have my collection. All six Joker cards, except for the one that I could also never keep from getting stolen. No matter how many times I bought it, Great Malenko would always get stolen. I guess it was the best. I mean, they were all pretty sick, but um, something happened during the Great Malenko that uh, really made it popular, so popular that four CDs later, I still don't have one because it just kept getting stolen. I tried to get all the in-between albums. I could get every single one. I got the Tunnel of Love. I got the Terror, Terror Wheel. Every single one except for um, the in-between album they made for, what was it, uh, basically, uh, Great Malenko. Yeah, after Great Malenko. That was the same one. I could never find it. I guess it was always sold out. So to this day, that black spot has never been filled right there. It's always been blank, and of course, I just, I think this album didn't come with a cover, so I used that as a cover. But, yeah, uh, I don't know, that's Hell's Pit Remix. I don't know why it's there, actually. But, um, who cares? But yeah, Wizard of the Hood, Bizarre Bazaar. Uh, the first Bazaar was freaking awesome. Who, who doesn't, who, who can disagree with that? The first Bazaar was great. Yeah, uh, oh man, Super Villains, Super Villains, sick ass beats. Gotta be the worst album I've ever heard in my life. Uh, the Calm, also, uh, some good beats. It was shit. I'm sorry. It, uh, kind of <laughs> the Calm was not that good of an album either. Um, Multi Million Remix, that was good. I also liked their, uh, um, Hell's Mix remix was pretty good, but at the same time, I don't feel like they matched up a lot of the beats with the... They introduced new beats, but none of the beats actually in, uh, matched up with the songs, and it kind of killed it. Like, the, dude, the words and the, the rhythm of the words don't match with the beat. <laughs> I don't know. Twisted, I got four Twisted albums here. Uh, Mutant number two, or was that number two? Maybe it was number three. Which one was it? Familiar. The album with Familiar on it, that was fucking Familiar. was a great song, man. Oh, here we go. Okay, now we got all these things right here. Then we got these, uh, Varmints of Humanity. I haven't heard anything from D12 in a really long time. But, um... Eminem, on the other hand, heard some disgusting shit. Wow, this, to this, see, I got a few scratches on this. You guys remember that? 
Y'all remember this. You remember that? The pill? Oh, I remember that CD. That CD. Uh, you want it? I'll take all your Eminem CDs. I'm. You like can have them. Your dad done with them? I'm done. Hold, hold on to them in there for me. No. Nope. What? No. You can dig them out of the trash for all I care. Well, let me find a good CD. Case. You guys remember that, right? I was I was literally gonna just you know just no no no. <laughs> I I'm down. I'm willing to do this. No. Give me a second. Let me look at this. Grab this guy. CD case. Okay. Do you want these two? Yeah, I'll take all. He's gonna he's gonna take. You guys remember the covers? <laughs> You guys, like I said, Michael Jackson, just keep that in mind. Well, I would never want to meet Michael Jackson or hang out with him, but I, I do like Michael Jackson. I think Michael Jackson went from semi-unknown, semi-hated to, to more hated, semi-unknown, to being super popular, where this guy went from straight hated he to went, being popular. Michael Jackson went from a fucking normal human being to an alien. <laughs> When I was like 10, yeah, I thought we saw he was white. I actually told my I, dad, I was like, Michael Jackson was black. I, I thought Michael Jackson, I, mean, I had no idea that Michael Jackson was a black man. I thought it was a white woman. <sighs> <laughs> You're ignorant. Hey. Those are the books. Oh, okay. I would rather, almost rather, show them me throwing these in the fucking trash. I'm giving them away. I'm giving them away to my brother. How does that make me? What does that make me? Not much different. It this makes is... you better. You're getting rid of him. I'm getting, I'm I'm getting not rid a of political him. Person, I was going to so throw him in the okay. fucking trash. Dude, I know. Okay, you want his next album that's coming out? I guarantee that's probably going to be trash, too. I don't want any of his new albums. They suck. It's, ooh, no, I agree. His new yeah, albums are fucking suck. garbage. I didn't even know his he was coming. His old music's I didn't awesome. even know he was coming. I thought you gave me this CD, but all I have is that. I don't know. Go ahead and trash that. I don't okay. know what that is. Okay. The CD Bad is. meets evil. Sounds like it belongs in the fucking trash. Well, half of it. The other half is what's his name, right? There we go. That's uh, not you just ripped up the only good guy's face. No, he's still there. The black guy's still there. Isn't that? Eminem has been ripped asunder. Well, I thought that, that was Dr. Dre. Isn't that? <laughs> I know. It's... Oh, whoever those. I don't know. Uh, uh, Royce, Royce Nine. Royce Nine. Voice to five nine. Trash. No CD to go with it anyways. Who cares? Okay, D12. You know what? This album, I could also never hold on to. Everyone kept stealing it. That was a good album. D12, D, 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 uh, Detroit World. It was a good album, but it will never match up to, to that. This will have never been that. That was amazing. And it was disgusting at the same time. It was the most disgusting, amazing video <laughs> music album I've ever heard. You know what? Whatever. I'm. Just, I mean, I'm not throwing these away because whatever. It's D12. It's D12. So you're keeping your D12 world. I guess. I don't know. You want? It? I don't know. Actually, no, you can have that. I don't know. Oh, that yeah. shit. Yeah. It was garbage. It was the album was garbage. The first one was better, even though it was more disgusting. That's probably what made it better. Yeah, here's some 50 Cent. Uh, okay, and then it gets weird. I got uh, Switch Foot. I got Aventura. Aventura was good. I got Bande Lemon. I got all I, I listen to Spanish so songs in Spanish. I got uh, uh, La Bandes Románticas. I only got that because it was like two songs on that whole thing that I really loved. The rest of them I either didn't know or thought so. Here's another E40 album. E40 yeah, was E40? good. I thought I had more E40. Oh, you don't like that Pink Floyd, do you? I'll take that. Uh, no. Pink Floyd's <laughs> going nowhere. That's staying right here. Uh, I said, uh, Is that a WoW CD? No, it's a cow CD. <laughs> <laughs> cow, hear this! What's it got? Uh, oh, so it's making fun of WoW. So it is like a WoW CD. I lost CD. that CD too, damn. Oh. It is like a CD. Yeah, that was, uh, that was like a whole bunch of mixed uh, bluegrass country music musicians, so like... Pat Green and uh, Robert O'Keefe and That's yeah, cool. I got Tim McGraw here, Kevin Fowler, my fucking this is this is the collection I will never let go right here. I will never let this go, my boy, Senor Robert Earl Keen Jr. Hee hee. Hee hee. 
ignorant. That's ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Let's it's climb the tree. <laughs> And then, yeah, that's, well, that's pretty much it. And then I got, you know, some uh, Blink-182 and Linkin Park and uh, Squirrel of Sam. I got two CDs of Squirrel of Sam. I got Boogeyman. Boogeyman, a good friend of Squirrel of Sam. Did he also makes some good did CDs. Did you hear about uh, Linkin Park? Yeah, the guy who killed himself. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, that was really sad. Very sad. Very sad. That it sucks, because there was actually, when I first got to San Jose in 2011, they had a Linkin Park concert that I didn't get to go to at the SAP Center. Like, dude, I don't understand why he killed himself. No one does, actually. A lot of people are wondering why he killed himself, because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't really make any sense. It, it means the guy was everything. He had everything, and he was an amazing person, and people loved him. What was the loss? Like, what, what, what was so... Or were things going so bad that he would feel he had to do that? What was the issue? What was the cause? What was the motive? Anyways, yeah, YDMC, Dave, I haven't heard from you in a long time. He gave me his number, and then I lost it. YDMC, he was a, yeah, that, that guy was pretty cool, too. He was like a, he was a rapper, but he was also a skater, too. Rapper, skater, he's pretty sick. He was basically like, he was basically like a, a Skrill of Sam and a Skrill of Sam TV combined with the, um, got a cold gravy, one, one, two, two, three, three. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, that's all done. Other things. Um, was there anything else I wanted to mention? Give me those books. All your Skittle cities, or Skittle books. Not them, them no more. Oh. oh, okay. Let's talk about Red Dead Redemption. You have to split these up into a few. Well, videos. really quick. Let's put this in. Oh, uh, I've got a clock right here. Okay. Um, from now until uh, th three fifteen. Okay. So, so okay, or whatever time. Um. Red Dead Redemption is coming out. Red Dead Redemption I'm, 2. Red Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know how many of you are have heard about it or are into that, but shit. I am fucking psyched about that. This can be great. What was the date? Um, Christmas. No, Christmas. spring no. next year. Spring next year. It's gonna be a little up. So they were talking about some of the details with it. Apparently this is going backwards in time instead of forwards in uh, time, which is good because it was getting too late in time anyways. I always felt that if they'd gone any further into the future from there, you're getting into like mafia times and bigger cities. No, it was mafia times. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, if they did it, it would be, it would literally lead straight into the Mafia 1 game also produced by Rockstar. Yeah. I think that was produced, no, that was produced by 2K. But essentially, it's like a Grand Theft Auto style game. But yeah, no, it would have just, it would have been like side and side. When John Marston's son ended off was when Mafia 1 started. Basically. I see. So they couldn't do that. Uh, yeah, and, and um, so I've heard in some of the videos they mentioned how they think that maybe this would take in like a 1907. But at the same time, like, this is way deep in the game. I understand that um, uh, Dutch knew about his son, but at the same time, he was like 14 years old when when John Marston, um, spoiler alert, died. Excuse me. If you haven't played that game. So, yeah, if you haven't played it, you're missing out on something big. But, um, sorry, I'm sorry. If he was 14, I, I would think that it would have to go towards him being either a baby or not born at all. So, I'm expecting them to go more than, I mean, two, uh, 1907, that's only, what, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that's only four years. That means um, he's 10 years old. Unless he's going to be in the game, you're going to bring this kid into the game, I would expect him to be, like, a, like a, a young baby, or not born at all. Yeah, probably not born yet. I, w I would hope so. So, that would mean they'd have to go back at least 14 years. So, we're literally talking about, like, 19, or 1890. Uh, 1899 around that era that's what I would think very end of the century which would be which would work great for me especially if they're bringing in bow and arrows and stuff that is freaking awesome and I want to see more tribes and all that crap oh yeah no from the video I saw it looked like there was going to be Indians yeah um, I, I want like uh, more I, I really do want to look more at some I want more Civil War era looking kind of stuff not like straight up civil war but pushing more towards that where there were the tribes were more plentiful and there was more uh, um buffalo you know more of the things that you experience in native american culture 
That's what I really want. And, it's, and I'm super excited about the bow and arrow, and I can't wait to use it. Seriously. It's going to be fucking awesome. And I hope they have cheats, too, because I want to be able to have unlimited arrows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But, yeah, um, the idea that you can run out of Buffalo to hunt in Red Dead Redemption, uh, the, the, the original, that is kind of sad. Actually, once I, I was pretty sad and by, at, at the end once I killed the last buffalo and you get that achievement, it says, you killed the last buffalo. It was kind of like, wow. I didn't, I didn't really see this part of the game coming. <laughs> and I regretted it. But, um... To bring it, if you push it back into the 1800s, then then you can experience what it's like to have plentiful buffalo and an unlimited number of buffalo to kill, like um, deer and and everything else, and bears and cougars and mountain lions and all that stuff and snakes. So I, I you know I want that. And. It's Grand Theft Auto, so don't give me any shit about wanting to kill more things. <laughs> Anyways, I'd like to say some more about this or about what you're doing or not going to use the bathroom again. Well, I recently just discovered that last time I played it did not save my game. I'm a little irritated with that. So, just a little bit. Oh, sweet, in there. Oh, right. Well, now we're going to tow some boats. To safety. Don't worry, guys. When I get my channel, I'll actually be able to stream or at least record and put it up. It'll be cool. It'll be fun. Sorry guys, if he puts this in, this is the boring segment. Okay, where are we at? Okay, um, alright, well, I'm gonna cut this in a few more minutes. We're running out of time. I want to keep this short, but, um, where did you end up? Anything related? Relatable? No, no. okay. Let's see what else I got here. Uh, That's it for Red Dead Redemption. Redemption. Oh. We're excited. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, um, not that, um, something else. <laughs> Alright, um, some other things I want to talk about some other time. Uh, I'm also looking for anybody who's willing to, <laughs> who wants to take a trip with me, who's willing to take a trip with me down to Mojave, back to my property, and work on a giant Trump sign. I want to know, I want to get some good friends together. I know I know some people, help me out. Let's go. I'll pay for everything. Come with me. I got the beer in the ice chest and everything. I'm not joking. Contact me. We're going to do it. I'm looking forward to going next year. I'm putting a team together. If you want to come, contact me. I'm going to go regardless. And... Anything else I Okay, yeah, so I, I hope you guys like my rodeo videos. I wanted to mix it up. I know I did some rap stuff. I want to do some rodeo stuff, too. I'm, you know, I'm also into... You. To, to, to. I'm into all kinds of American culture, all right? And so rap is also considered American culture, let's be honest. Indian rap, food's good, too. Indian food's good, too. Oh, that, that, thank you for bringing that up. Um, but, you know, um, yeah, you know the, the American rap is the best rap. You know that, okay? And American, uh, and, uh, and you know, I, I understand there's some, some countries that could rival American rodeos, but I think American rodeos are the best kind of rodeos. We got the best cowboys too. Uh, right? Oh, oh, cowboys! Yeah, uh, that's an American thing. I was gonna say rodeo wise. I don't know. I want to go to Mexico and see like some of that shit. If you go to Mexico, you're gonna get some more brutal rodeos. They might actually kill their animals. I think they do, and then they eat it in celebration afterwards. Yeah, you know, you'll get an outcry here in America if an animal dies at a rodeo here in America. And believe me, the cowboys who run that rodeo will cry too. But you won't hear that in Mexico. No, because they eat it in celebration of its death. They don't mind that. I mean, at least they're going to eat it. That's yeah. fine. They eat the whole thing. Some people might disagree with me. Like, well, this is still cruel. Yeah, it is still cruel. But you know what? They do eat it in the end. Yeah. Call us Mexican. We don't mind it. 
Honestly, I would not protest the way the Mexicans do with their thing. I do believe it's cruel, but you know, it's whatever. It's American. It's it's not American. It's Mexican culture. So go with it. It's what they do. It's it's what it's what we do, and I'm I'm down with it. And I'm I'm, I'm not. I wouldn't do it myself, and I wouldn't participate in it, and I don't recommend it, and I don't approve. However, they eat it in the end, so I won't protest. Something. It's something. I call it something. It doesn't go to waste. Um. Diwali's coming up. I'm going to celebrate Diwali. I would love someone to celebrate Diwali with me. That'd be fantastic, too. So, uh, if you love Indian food, you know I do. And if you're into the Hindu culture, you believe, believe me, if you have, if you're a spiritual person, look into the Hindu culture. That is fucking awesome. That is some supreme stuff. You will be surprised what you find there. Incarnation, reincarnation, reincarnation, reincarnation and everything. The whole shebang. That stuff is intense, and uh, I, I would love to tell you guys more about the Hindu religion. I